Hiya folks, if you're new in town, don't be shy and just stand by. Let me explain to you how this works. Feeling bored or lonely and you need someone to watch cartoons with? Then look no further, because I'm here to play in your ear. You can listen to the podcast alone or alongside the cartoon. The choice is yours. Either way, let's get to tune along. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Tune Along. Today I'm going to do an episode of the Mighty Ducks. Here come the Mighty Ducks. ching it down to do Alright. Let's start the episode. Season 1, episode 1, the first face-off. I guess it's part called part 1, but we're just going to do the 22 minute 39 second one. Alright. 3, 2, 1, play. Yeah, I just heard a little bit of the intro before and I was getting excited. Sorry about that. <laughs> the Mighty Ducks! You know, growing up in the 90s, uh, this show made me like a secondary fan of the Mighty Ducks. Like, I've got my hockey team that I enjoy watching. Okay, I'll tell you that. I like my hockey. And I've got my team. But in the 90s, my second team was the Mighty Ducks. Let me tell you why. Because of the show. Because of the Mighty Ducks TV show, which was, you know, made by Disney, owned by Disney. Even the TV series, sorry, even the hockey team was owned by Disney uh, back in the day. And, of course, later on, uh, got sold. I forget who, but they got sold, and it wasn't Disney no more. Uh, And then they changed the logo. They changed the entire thing. But... The Disney show honestly hooked me onto the idea of that hockey team. Not to mention the movies, the ones with uh, Emilio Estevez. Uh, you know, those three D, D1, D2, D3 movies. Now, I'm not... Honestly, I have no clue who the characters are in the TV show. But all I remember is... Um, the Mighty Ducks being a TV show, and I had a few of the, t- you know, the cartoon characters as a, as toys. It was something that I did have. Uh, you know, people knew I liked hockey, so they, you know, they gave me a few toys, and that were hockey. So, and one of them being uh, Mighty Ducks. And I remember, if you, you know, if any of you out there growing up in the '90s do remember the uh, Mighty Ducks McDonald's toys, they had these little pucks. Uh, with the characters sticking out of them, almost like they were driving the puck. And on the bottom of them, there was a few little beads, kind of wheelers, and you'd you know, slide across the gymnasium floor uh, and play with them. I still have them. Uh, in fact, there were some kids in my neighborhood, you know, growing up in Canada, playing street hockey, there were some kids that would use them as pucks, which was funny as hell. I remember, you know, taking a few slap shots with those guys. But, you know, just... Watching here, at season one, episode one, right now. If you guys are tuned in, watching the episode right now, we're at the point where, uh, you know, the big guy uh, is uh, skating and just text, ch- you know, he checks three guys, and the announcer right now is going crazy. Um, I had a toy, you know, I had two toys, um, you know, better edition toys, if you will, actual official memorabilia from the show where it came with a hockey net it came with the goalie it came with uh d lorange whatever his name was the you know the grayer looking duck and i used to play with those guys all the time you know mighty ducks score a goal here we go celebrate the win yeah no no no. honestly no, no no i had the game like i said i had the toys uh look at that anaheim police isn't that isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Think about that today. If they if they had made a TV show on any major sports team, just think about that. Yeah, the, you know the Yankees, uh, the Habs, uh, you know the Montreal Canadiens, or even um, you know even a soccer team, Real Madrid. If they would have made a cartoon series on the show, I'm sure I'm sure there's something out there, right? That I'm that I'm missing, but. Just the idea of a a major sports team coming out with a cartoon and just the fact that, you know, Disney owned the Mighty Ducks hockey team. Well, of course you're going to make a freaking TV show to promote your team, right? You you just made your team. Your team's like three years old. It had, you know, it's a little baby in the NHL. And 
uh, what better way to promote it than a, a kids' cartoon show? Something that's going to get the kids hooked on the uh, the idea of a team w- with Mighty Ducks as superheroes. I love it. Honestly, I love it. And uh, I've got a little a soft spot for the Mighty Ducks, and I think a lot of people out there do as well. I've seen you know I've seen you know kids and young adults wearing the Mighty Ducks hat. The retro hat, you know the one, you know the one I'm talking about, the purple one with the with the green uh, lid, um, you know, sporting that one around. Even I bought it. I love that hat. It's you know the original Mighty Ducks logo, in my opinion, is better than the current uh, the current Anaheim Ducks logo. Uh, they did come out, I think it was last year, 2019, 2020 season. They came out with the uh, the Ducks. Uh, third uh, vintage jersey, whatever it's called, and they showcase the duck, you know, the original Mighty Ducks emblem, uh, with a little bit of a modern twist. But just that logo alone, uh, you know, has has had an impact on my mind, on my my psyche. Whenever I see that, I always feel positive. I always I always feel like I need to root for those guys because they're battling the bad guys, just like the TV show. You know what? <laughs> Just watching right now, you know, we're five minutes and 34 seconds in. You're seeing the alien bad guys appear. Invade Earth. And, uh, you know, I I don't remember this episode at all. I don't even remember the TV show, uh, you know, or any aspect of it at all. I just remember there being, you know, Mighty Ducks uh, on the forefront of the uh, animation show but i don't remember any of the bad guys i don't remember the story plot i don't remember any of that but just it's just funny to see that you know hockey can defend the earth and can fight bad guys and aliens uh why not it's fucking cool just think about it you know you've got that 90s kids mentality you're not questioning anything whatever comes up on on the screen you're watching you're loving uh, and i'm one of them i fucking love this show it was great I thought it was always pretty cool. Um, I don't remember the bad guy. I don't remember. I don't remember any of these wizard demon guys. But what I do remember is they came out with uh, the Ninja Turtle game. Like I said, they had these little figurines that were freaking futuristic looking. They actually looked really cool for uh, you know for uh, an actual toy from the '90s to resemble the the cartoon. They did a pretty good job. And I'm sure those of you who know what I'm talking about. It's basically the goalie, and I had a couple of the other ones. They were hockey players, and you pulled them back, you hit the little button, and they would swing and hit the puck. But you know what I did is I would line up the goalie in front of his net, and I would take my little mini hockey stick, and I would try to score on the little guy. Um, You know, obviously being incredibly impossible to do because the way you would line them up, you know, you'd put them on the ground. Uh, But it was something I did. I would just sit in my room, and I had a few, you know, Toys from the 90s, you know, Transformers, Mighty Ducks toys. Uh, uh, what do you even call it? Uh, Shadow Raider toys. And I would just mesh and mix those guys up together and make an adventure, make a good time of it. Why not? Why the heck not? And now we're at commercial. They're supposed to go to commercial right now, right now. And now we got the WW Wiener truck going across the police station, going inside, see what's going on. You're seeing all the characters, You're, you, you know, just look at the animation, okay? First thing that screams to mind is Disney. Absolutely. They did a really good job. Just the fact that Disney owns the team and Disney does a cartoon on it, you know they're going to do a good job. They're going to try and promote their team. And uh, a good job they did do. You know, for everybody out there who is a hardcore fan of the show, and, you know, I, I, I have, honestly, I don't even remember anything on the show. I didn't even remember there was a world of duck people like I'm seeing right now, being uh, marched across and as prisoners. These guys are ducks with beaks. and uh, <laughs> they, they literally took hockey, mixed it with uh, Terminator-esque world-like views uh, where the world's about to end. And, hey, we need to find a way. We need to find the resistance. If you got a hockey stick, you can resist. If you got a puck, you're in the main lead. <laughs> God. I had no idea about this show. I had no idea of uh, the uh, the storyline behind it. Even the fact that this general is wearing hockey pads. Fucking cool. Why not? Why the heck not? 
Ah, the TMN. No, I'm saying TMNT, the fucking Mighty Ducks. You know, when I see this, I always, I do, that's why I said it. I, I do think of the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think of the, the five main characters of TMNT. When I say five, I mean Master Splinter or Casey Jones. But this one here just showcases, you know, a hockey team, a, a team of five people. One, two, three, four, five. Three center, three, you know, three offensive players, left wing, centerman, right wing, and the two defensemen. And then you got the goalie, I should say, six players, right? You've got six characters that are, you know, the heroes to save the earth. And, and you know, what do they do on their pastime? They play some hockey. So you know what? They're strong. They're fucking, they're, you know, they're meant to kick ass. They're able to take a fight any time. They're, they're smart enough to make a good play, right? But it's just, I can't even wrap my mind around it. Just the idea that a hockey, you know, these hockey players, these fucking quack hockey players are saving the earth. And as a 90s kid, this is a fucking perfect show. You're, you know, you're already in that childhood mindset where you're not questioning nothing. And you see these guys playing your favorite sport, especially growing up in Canada. Um, and, and, and I'm sure in the United States as well. If you're a hockey fan in the U.S. and you grew up in the 90s watching the, you know, the Mighty Ducks, you, you like the team. I, honestly, I, I am convinced, and I'm fucking going to say it, I think everyone who loved hockey in the 90s, their second favorite team, and I say second because, you know, when you're a hockey fan and you live in your local city, most people, People enjoy their local city hockey team. But you always have that second team. I'm sure it's like that in any major sport, you know, whether it's baseball, whether it's basketball or soccer, football. You've got your, your, you know, your favorite team, but you've got your little secret background team that you enjoy to root for. And I think Ninja Turtles, fucking Ninja Turtles, I think fucking Mighty Ducks is the second favorite team of a lot of people out there, mainly because of the show. And I fucking keep, I, you know, I keep saying Ninja Turtles because every time I watch this, I keep thinking of Ninja Turtles in my head. I keep thinking of the, the Ninja Turtles going into the bad guy's lair, battling them, you know, taking them out. It just screams Ninja Turtles when I see this. Look, one, two, three, four ducks right there. You know, I know there's five. Um, you know, I look, I, at the end of the day, guys, I just want to say, Thank you for stopping by <laughs> for those who did. We're halfway through the episode. It's another episode of Tune Along. We're just going to do an audio commentary. Uh, you know, if you guys have stopped by before, I'm sure you guys know what's going on. We're just like talking about what we're seeing on the screen. Uh, give me your input. Give me your feedback. Give me a little comment in the, uh, in the comment section on the YouTube channel. Give me a like. Subscribe to the podcast on multiple platforms. We, we we do all kinds of fucking episodes. I mean, we don't we don't stop at fucking Ninja Turtles or Mighty Ducks of Anaheim TV cartoon series. We go all over the spectrum. We like to do everything, and this one here, this episode here, I just picked it. You know, I just picked it for uh, first episode, season one, episode one. I like to start that way. You know myself. I like to start that way with those kind of. Uh, cartoons i feel like it gives that perspective you get to see the characters later on if you got any demands as far as uh issues or cartoon series let me know in the comments like i said and uh and uh if you guys want to you know talk about them why not why the heck not it's it's something that's played fucking 20 years ago even more and uh i can't think of a better time to talk about them than right now. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear the episode going on, but right now we're on, uh, you know, we got a little lizard, pink lizard coming out, showing us the underworld that the Mighty Ducks need to handle. And like I said, every fucking time I think of Mighty Ducks, I think of Ninja Turtles. This just, if they would have made an, if Disney, okay, if Disney would have made a Ninja Turtles TV show and done something in this aspect, I think I would have been hooked. I think I think I would have been every single day trying to find a toy, trying to find a you know, comic book, whatever kind of paraphernalia they would have made from the show. Cool bad guy. It looks like something from uh from Warcraft. Like uh Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne. Canard. 
They're, they're gonna use, I'm sure they're gonna use a whole bunch of duck puns. That's just cool characters. You know, you know what else this reminds me of? Is, uh, po uh, sorry, not Power Rangers, uh, Buzz Lightyear Star Command. When they came out with the TV show from the, uh, you know, once again, the 90s, they had the toys from McDonald's. But you see Star Command, you see Buzz Lightyear outside of Toy Story, something that's, uh, you know, unheard of back in the day. You wouldn't, you know, Disney, uh, you know, just seeing any kind of fan service, in my opinion, Buzz Lightyear Star Command is kind of like a fan service in a way, even though it is official Disney. It just feels like something that, that's out of a dream. And Mighty Ducks has that effect on me as well. I don't know if that has the same effect on you as well, but it has that same effect on myself. You know, you're playing hockey. You're coming home. You're watching this show. You got more hockey. Uh, of course, this first episode, we haven't seen much hockey now that I think about it. But, you know, Mighty Ducks Disney owning the team. What are they trying to do? They're trying to implement a TV show. They're trying to implement uh, a world, something that you can relate to, something that you can uh, take with you in your whole childhood, bring it with you when you're older. And uh, anytime the Mighty Ducks play, or I should say the Anaheim Ducks play on the big screen, uh, you're going to stop and watch because you've seen this old TV show. It, it's got that nostalgia factor, the nostalgia feel. And like I said, dude, growing up in Canada, okay, seeing the amount of hockey caps and hats and toques uh people playing uh you know freestyle free skate open ice um rollerblade hockey out there i've seen my fair share of anaheim mighty ducks uh gear people have worn the, the jersey people have worn the hat um they won the cup i think yeah they did win the cup but you know one era let's just talk a bit about the uh, the Anaheim uh, Mighty Ducks team if you will back in i think it was 2002 or 2001 anyways 2001 2 3 somewhere around there they went to the finals and their biggest player of all time i'm sure you guys know Paul Correa that whole series with the New Jersey New Jersey Devils the the Devils won the Stanley Cup that year but I was rooting for the Ducks all the way home. You know, they were the underdog. They were not meant to win. They were. It was the mighty Ducks for Pete's sake. Yeah, Paul Correa. I remember he got that hit by Scott Stevens in the middle of the ice. And then he comes out later, a shift or two later, he comes out and then he scores a goal, a slap shot from the blue line, top corner. And it just brought back all that. I was screaming. I, I've never screamed for a team so loud as that moment right there, even for my own team. Being the Montreal Canadiens, I love that team. and It's grown with me over the years. Uh, I know they suck, but it's my team. And, you know, in hockey, when you've got your team, you've got your team. But the Mighty Ducks is my second favorite team. Uh, and it's because of the show, like I mentioned. And you got Paul Correa shooting one from the blue line, scoring. And you're going fucking nuts as a kid. And I remember my, kid, my, my, my dad and my mom saying, hey, calm down, son. Uh, it's just the other team. And I remember looking at them in the eye and going, it's not just the other team. It's, it's about the little guy. It's about Paul Correa getting hit in the middle of the ice, coming back and scoring a goal, right? Fighting the bullies. But you know what? They didn't win the war. They won the battle, but they didn't win the war until years later with, uh, you know, Ryan Getzlaff and Corey Perry and uh, J.S. Jaguar and Nets winning the Stanley Cup for the Ducks. Long overdue. I do think that team definitely deserved a uh, Stanley Cup, much like the uh, the San Jose Sharks. I think that team has been working so hard to get a cup. Uh, you know, for those of you that are San Jose fans out there, it's a rough time to be a San Jose Sharks fan. You're seeing your team get older and older with Joe Thornton. Um, but I do think they should have maybe gone to the finals and, and maybe at least won a cup. Why not? But just those teams from uh, California, good on them. They They, you know... They've got, they've. I guess they've got the power. I've got the power. Chikata. And uh, the Mighty Morphin uh, Power Ranger Ducks right now have the power. Look at that. I think his name is D. Lorange, right? Like like an orange duck, like Lorange duck, duck Lorange. Uh, I don't remember how to pronounce their names. I just remember having the toys and seeing the names on the back of the sweaters that they had. Just cool characters. Uh, but yeah, the Mighty Ducks. If you guys haven't seen the show, if you've never watched the show, and you, you're not watching it right now, you're just listening to the podcast, 
uh, go give it a watch. Give season one, episode one a watch. I'm telling you, uh, if you're a hockey fan, uh, you're going to appreciate this show. It's it's definitely, and if you're a Disney fan, honestly, this for me is Disney at its core. They, they you know, when they, when Aladdin, the series was coming out, when, um, uh, you know, all those Disney shows, Saturday afternoon Disney shows, you know, Chip and Dale, um, What's the other ones? You know, Goof Troop, all those shows. It's got that same feel to it. And when I see the bad guy here, it just reminds me of Zerg from uh, from uh, Toy Story, from Buzz Lightyear Star Command. Ah, I can't say any more about the show. It's just, I'm just ranting. I'm just talking about it, talking about all the things that are coming to mind. Right now, they're traveling through a space portal. They're going through, you know, and they, look at this character with his pink sunglasses. Just cool characters, cool cats. Cool ducks, if you will. And, uh, yeah, coming from a kid that grew up in the 90s, you know, in kindergarten, grade one, this show was playing. And I, I've probably seen maybe one or two episodes uh, in my entire life. Uh, but after seeing those one or two episodes, definitely got me hooked on the show. Definitely got me in that mode and that feel of the, nin you know, of the uh, <laughs> fucking Ninja Joes again. Here we go. Of the Mighty Ducks. Um, and I and it did have an impact. I did love the the series. I did love the show, loved the characters. I thought they were pretty cool. Uh, you know, parents and family buying me some of the toys over the years for Christmas and, and my birthday. Uh, you know, knowing that I'm a huge hockey fan and that I would uh, you know appreciate what I'm getting. And I and I do. I I did keep the toys after all these years. I'm glad I did. Now you got the golden golden mask. I don't remember about that. I, I honestly, I don't remember anything about the show. Like I said, I just remember some of the characters appearing in the McDonald's toys, and uh, you know some of the regular toys that came out for the show. Um, but now let's take a look. Let's just take a look. look. The show's almost almost over. There's 26 episodes of the show. I like that number. I feel like it's season one, 13 episodes, season two. But no, it's actually all season one. I think they only made one season, 23, 20, sorry, 26 episodes of the show. Pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, let's see what's going to happen here. We've got the, the Mighty Ducks on their spaceship. They're, they're traveling through space, going through the, the entire cosmos, uh, trying to fight the bad guys. And they're saying, you know what? We're here to stay. We're here to fight more episodes. For 26 more episodes, we're here to stay. After that, that's it. But uh, look, we got 40 seconds left on the episode, guys. I just want to say, I think, you know, look, welcome to Anaheim Mighty Frogs. The Mighty Frogs, eh? Look at that little joke they did at the end. All right, guys, that's the end of the episode. But look, last thing I would just want to say on the episode is, uh, wouldn't it be cool if they came back later, years later, 2025, whatever the fucking year it is, and just made a, a reboot, a movie, just of these characters, the same characters that showed up before, uh, just to give us their, you know, their input on uh, on what they can do with the characters again. Uh, it could be made by Disney. I'm sure it'll have to be made by Disney. I'm, or you know what? At this point, I don't even know. I think another company owns the team. Disney lost it, uh, so you couldn't even do anything with the show if even if you wanted to. But just as a you know, a, a really uh, you know, I wouldn't call myself even a fan of the show. I just appreciated the show when it came out. But just a little something to bring it back to life. Little. You know, a little booster of, uh, of fresh air would be nice. Um, let me know what you guys think. Check it out. Uh, check the episode out. Check out more episodes if you if you guys want. But it is a cool show nonetheless. And we'll be talking soon in the next one. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. You just listened to a Tune Along podcast. If you like what you heard or have any comments or feedback, don't hesitate to check out more on iTunes, Spotify, and TuneIn Radio, as well as Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube for more info. I'll see you next time. Ciao!